is Ari Fleischer. I'll tell you what's disgusting about this. Ari Fleischer. Ari Fleischer. Was, he's disgusting. But Ari Fleischer was the the president's spokesperson. Yep. I mean, I guess, you know, it's just another story of a guy making a buck. But here is Ari Fleischer. Um, oh, I guess it's just him on Twitter, right? Yeah. Uh, this is after um, Jim Acosta was was screamed at by Trump supporters at the Tampa rally. I mean, we've seen this before, right? With uh, with with Trump. Oh yeah. Uh, during the campaign. We played it yesterday, but, though. The people were really. I mean, it it was like it. I don't. It was almost like really messed up middle schoolers like harassing an ape at a zoo it would be like the closest I could think of. <laughs> like like a school for the profoundly emotionally damaged like until you've seen right. like a 50 year old who presumably like you know has a family like is actually responsible for real things in life like be like, fuck you Jim Acosta you lie double middle finger you yeah double double middle finger like mountain dew come to life <laughs> to be fair there is a quality of like <laughs> when you go out and do paintball or something like that. Yeah, like but, I'm gonna be like I'm gonna be a kid today. Yeah, but like right, go do paintball. Exactly, paintball's fun. Shouldn't be like I, yeah, I'm gonna go be a Nazi and harass Jim Acosta. Right. I just want to be wish a kid it, again. I wish they, they they just adopted instead of like yelling f you at him, they were just like hey fat butt, you got a fat butt, <laughs> boogers, you got boogers coming out of your nose, man. But here is uh, Ari Fleischer, his tweet to reporters at Acosta complaining regarding your treatment at Trump rallies. Now you know what it's like for conservatives invited to speak at college campuses. (laughs) If the invite isn't rescinded. I wish you were treated differently, but maybe you should cover college protests differently now. Yeah. So he's comparing (laughs) the president of the United States... Singling out a reporter for these uh, followers to accost versus college students yelling at a speaker who they don't want to come to their campus. It's to not be able to understand the difference between the power that college students have versus the president of the United States seems to me to be... um, I don't know. He's getting paid, right? I don't know. Yeah. Who's he getting paid by now? I'm sure he has some. I I would. Assume, I think uh, I'm just. We should look it up. But I think he's. I'm sure he's at some type of comms consulting or lobbying firm with corporate right. clients. Uh, also, I mean, n- in no way the primary point. But like, let me do a third order joke here. Like, uh, yeah, I think we're all aware of Jim Acosta's extensive like. Ben Shapiro is totally transphobic. It should not be allowed on the Oberlin campus reporting. Like, when did Jim Acosta even talk about well, I'd also this point like, out, silly campus controversy? Like, stuff? journalists actually like contribute something to society, and we've had a lot of history. And like, right-wing reactionaries haven't contributed anything ever. Right. I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know. Why doesn't Why doesn't Ari Fleischer just write like now, uh, Jim Acosta? Now you know what it's like for um, my five-year-old son who got made fun of at kindergarten. (laughs) Well, I would actually say if Ari Fleischer's five-year-old son is going to be made fun of like that at kindergarten, he should probably pull that kid out of the school because that would be pretty bad. If the Um, kid showed up to like two double middle fingers from like 30 deranged kids saying, you lie. From the teachers. (laughs) Yeah, the te Right, right, right. I mean... Uh, It's also, though, a grievement culture like you always talk about. Of course. Of course.